it's finally happened! Hello! Welcome to another episode of Vault Hunters! Guys, 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 it's here. It's actually here. Update 9, everybody! I'm so excited, I'm actually a little jittery. <laughs> I cannot begin to express my excitement when I log into the server and then that little thing in the top right hand corner goes Brrr, You have new recipes <laughs> And then I open this up and I have 45 unspent skill points and 9 expertise points Yeah, yeah new things. I'm excited also uh, logged on and got this quest book Which is exciting. This is look 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 we have rewards. <laughs> Free dopamine for my little starved brain. <laughs> but first, but first, but first, let's let's take let's take a step back. I want to start off with a little honesty for you guys. I I was really discouraged <laughs> at my at the end of my last Vault Hunter episodes. I actually had another one prepared, but it was all recorded, all done. You you'll see the works of it downstairs. But um I I didn't have a lot of fun, honestly. It was kind of discouraging running through the vaults. I was constantly out of mana. It was so disappointing. I, I, I was constantly trying to heal, but then out of mana, and then it was depleted, and then <laughs> it was rough. And I had just eaten a bunch of burgers to try to level myself up so I could, as you can see, I'm level 45 now. And it that, did, that didn't help. That didn't help. <laughs> So when I heard about update nine, I I held my horses. I started our B series, which you can check out in the description box below. We were having a lot of fun over there. But um, when I heard about some of the skills that were coming in this update, I got excited for Vault Hunters all over again. And here we are, it's here. Let's jump into it. I just feel like the changes that they have made for this update have been so thoughtful. Not only from a game design stance, but also just from a community response stance. They have definitely been listening to their community and to their feedback. And it just shows how concerned and thoughtful they are as game developers. So make sure, send some love their way. They've been working so hard on this update and I am so excited. You've probably seen a lot of these changes already so I don't want to spend too much time in going into detail with them so before we can get into the thick of it we do need to update our skills and boy am I excited for this if we open up our menu this this looks pretty normal except we do have quests right here which is nice so you don't have to have the book with you all the time but this this is where things get exciting oh my god look at look at it look at it skills there are and this is just the start look at that <laughs> look at all these different skills and ex this is a whole new part of vault hunters expertises expertise ex ex expertises uh yeah also brand new research just dropped potions oh my goodness they, they may have taken away my health potions, but they gave us back something so much better than vanilla potions. I'm excited for this. So I, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little overwhelming. <laughs> but I'm gonna take a few minutes. I'm gonna look over these. I, I'm gonna read the new exciting thing. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's called porcupine. <laughs> I feel so seen right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna take a few minutes. I'm gonna look over all of these in detail. I, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna look over these. I, I'm not gonna take the video time to do this. I'm gonna look at them and then we will pick some and I'll talk a little bit about it. But as I said, I do wanna get into the vaults as soon as possible. Oh my goodness. I feel like I get to go on an absolute spending spree. 45 skill points and so many new fun options. Okay, so I've read through like all of them and I've also like compared between mana costs and things like that. And I think, I think we have a game plan. So I had Poison Nova before and I did like it. I was sad that the radius was small. It does seem like the radius goes up more than it did before. So I'm very excited about that, but I think I think I want to go Nova 
this time and then I could always I could always choose poison later but I think I want to go just straight Nova because I'm pretty sure while the damage is much higher for poison the radius goes up faster and the mana cost goes up slower <laughs> so I think hmm I kind of want to go to a hundred damage how hard is that oh it's much easier than last time okay it's much easier to get to 100 damage I love that okay we're gonna stop right there with uh Nova I don't want to go too far I mean we have a lot of skill points to spend but I, I do want to get as much as I can out of them obviously vein miner obviously two I think is good but if you'll notice there's no fortune anymore and you're like oh no no fortune that stinks but if you come over to the expertise we have fortunate and i'm gonna throw two in there so now i think what is that fortune five which is even better than what we had before okay so we're gonna pop back over here we are gonna grab ghost walk i love ghost walk i loved it last time but i didn't feel like i could really um, invest more skill points into it because my mana was always constantly drained um, if you notice, the difference between regular Ghost Walk and Spirit is that Spirit will be canceled if you break a block or open any container, including obviously chests. Whereas regular Ghost Walk, just attacking something will stop it. But you'll notice the cooldown has a huge difference. <laughs> and so I would rather just use Ghost Walk to get out of a situation. I don't want to use it to try to like rogue stealth my way through so we're gonna grab Ooh, also it's two skill points i feel like that's fair i feel like that's definitely fair we're gonna grab spirit i kind of want to sink two into that i'm gonna think about that i love that dash a classic i love a dash i think last time i had it on a 10 second cooldown and i didn't want to go any further because again mana was an issue <laughs> but look at this this is like their answer the devs answer to getting rid of ender pearls and i love this i think this is so much better not only do you not have to worry about having ender pearls in your inventory but this is just cool if you hit a mob or another player you swap places with them there is so much chance for trolling in group vaults don't tell them i said that but i'm excited <laughs> So we've got, let's see, oh, force, 0. 0.8. What is, what is force? <laughs> it's the energy between all things. Attention, a balance that binds, that binds the universe, the universe together. together. <laughs> okay, so I think, I think I'm just gonna go grab one, but this is so cool. I love that duration goes up without mana cost. All that being said, I definitely wanna get back down to 10 seconds if I can, but I wanna try warp. I'm excited about this. Okay, so let's grab it. Let's grab the specialization. What is force one? What is that? <laughs> okay, so let's get this down to 10. How hard? Oh, that's not gonna be too bad. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice. That was easier than last time. I love that. Mana cost 28. We should be able to handle that, I hope. Still not into mega jump. I, I kind of want to take porcupine just because that was like the first official build i did but there's so many new things for us to try so i want to i want to try something else before i go back to porcupine we have totems i love this so this one's healing this one's extra damage this one's regeneration of mana yes please this one is also increased damage hold on we watch the difference this is damage in a range on a delay i don't really understand the delay thing but this seems highly specific this one is just increases the damage for all the and these affect other players which i love it really encourages team play so i i think that's an awesome awesome addition to the game so let's grab let's grab this obviously i think i want to grab spirit i hope this also affects the player themselves i'm assuming so this could be cool okay so i want to go i want to go spirit i think i just want to grab just one one for now just to see how it goes see how i like it thankfully the man again the mana so much smoother as you increase it gives you a lot more incentive to actually invest i love that heal my good friend let's see um okay mana goes up by two um i i think i can handle 16. uh do i want to go up to 20. 20 mana mm, okay let's do let's do like around 20 mana six heal we'll see where that puts us We're, we'll see that's almost maxed out actually this is cool okay empower i think this is neat 
I'm not gonna go into it right now, but I definitely wanna keep that in mind. I love the idea of a little boost of speed, especially, again, affecting your fellow players. I think that's awesome. Javelin looks amazing. It looks... <laughs> And I love this, by the way. I had to point this out that we're, we're, we're grabbing like over here. I had to mention this. Okay, so Totem totem feels like a very WoW um, ability. WoW being World of Warcraft. Uh, it just feels, you know, you get those AoEs. You have your, you know, that affect your other players. You can get damage boost. You can give them, you know, healing. And then you come over here and you get Javelin Sight. And I just feel like we're dipping into like Val or like Overwatch with those kind of like seeking out, you know, or exposing enemy uh, positions. I don't know, I think that's so cool. This is such a cool addition to the game. I love how it's getting more like almost MMO and or kind of taking those inspirations from more multiplayer video games. And I, I love that. Um, obviously we want to grab Hunter. So I think the mana goes up a lot more than it did before. So it kind of, it does dissuade what I think a lot of people, including myself, was doing in the last update, which was throwing your skill points into Hunter until you took something else. So I think that's a good thing. I still want to take Observer and I think that goes us to a hundred seconds. I'm going to be content with that for now, I think. Smite. This looks really cool. <laughs> I love this. Um, I think I definitely want to go Thunderstorm. I mean, that just sounds awesome. So basically it's gonna give us 125% of our damage in intervals of 0.5 seconds for a five and a half block radius, which is awesome for five mana per second. It does have a long cooldown, but I think that's very fair for this type of ability. And basically we're just gonna create a thunderstorm around us and we're gonna zappy zap all the mobs. And I love that. We're gonna take it. <laughs> this, oh my goodness, this charm. It charms a number of mobs within a radius around you to fight for you. That is too cool. I love it. So I'm gonna select specialization. And honestly, I think I wanna go at least two. I think two minions is a lot of fun. I love that. I wonder if you get like a creeper. Will a creeper like explode for you? Like how does that work? <laughs> anyway, so I, those are the ones I'm most excited about. I think mana shield, I think that's an awesome change. The retribution, that's cool if you wanna pause and read up on that. But I'm really happy with this page right now. We still have a glorious 24 skill points to play with over here. And if you look at that, strength, not only does it not have the level requirements, but it's so much less expensive because you probably know weapons have gotten a little bit of a nerf as far as damage, but I like it more that it's coming from the player's strength rather than depending on your armor. I love the shift away from depending on your armor and depending more on your own abilities that you've chosen as a player. Also, haste is the same. I love that. We increase the cost at the end is like two more. That's, that's more than fair. So I, I probably will sink those last two in there, but let's poke around a little bit more here. Sorcery. This extra mana regen. Oh my goodness, that's mine. <laughs> I have never invested so fast in an ability. I wanted this so bad. Okay, so <laughs> I did not just spend eight skill points on a whim. I'm, it's fine. Um, let's see, gain extra soul chance while killing mobs with full mana. I'm gonna take one just because I liked extra soul chance. I probably won't be full mana, but we'll see, we'll see. I wanna take it cause it's cool. I think I'm gonna take this because I, I definitely wanna unlock, we're gonna unlock alchemy today for sure. If not this episode, then the next, because I wanna see what that's about. I love the idea behind it. And you know, I've always liked my potions. So we're, we're definitely gonna take something either here or here. We're gonna give a look at the potions themselves before we go picking anything, either one of these. I wanna have a little experience in that. Next we can choose, we have a lot of choices we can make. Now I'm not, I'm not doing poison damage again if we take like nova poison then i could definitely pick something here but i don't feel the need frostbite we're not doing frost nova we're not using stun damage but this is cool if we want to hop into that i think i've never taken berserker before but i think i will i like this extra damage below max health normally i go for like a 
high of resistance build. Like in Skyrim, you will catch me wearing heavy armor using the he the two-handed weapon. But I think we're gonna go berserk here just for some funsies. We have masteries, lucky hit, and javelin enhancements. As you can see, you can only spend a certain number of skills in each one, so you can't max them all out, which I think is cool. It makes you take some take some thought and some choices into these. I like the idea of life leech. I think this is gonna help keep our health up and these might I don't know do you think I don't know if they're gonna play well together or not because when we're low health we'll do more damage and then we do more damage then we get more health back I think these will play well to each other so I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this one also to gain back part of your max mana on your hit Ooh. okay and this is increased damage and this is part of your damage and I find this is like chaining in a way oh this is cool I love this. Yeah, I, I definitely want to take this. This has a level requirement of 25. Yeah, I want to grab this. Now we only have four skill points left. I, I think I really, I really want to take haste. Oh, let's take haste all the way. Let's just commit. And then I want to leave these last couple skill points for alchemy. I think, yeah. So let's let's settle on that. And then we have seven more expertise points to spend. Okay, okay, let me take a look at these a little bit off camera. I just wanna say, I love these. <laughs> I think the first thing, I mean, we already took fortunate. I think the next thing I want to grab is Bounty Hunter. I love the bounties as an addition to Vault Hunters from the beginning. And the ability to have two active bounties is gonna be absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go, full send on that so now we can have two bounties so if i were to grab like a husk bounty and a wraith bounty i don't have to be disappointed if i end up in a desert vault because even though i won't get wraiths i'll get husks and vice versa i love that also i kind of want to grab divine although i haven't been huge into the actually gaining favors although we do we do have we do have two actually i didn't forget about that we do have two favors and I think I, I'm always doing the altars though. I rarely get favors, but if we were to increase our base affinity, maybe we get more favors. So let's grab one there. I'm really tempted by trinket, but we don't have any trinkets right now that I really want to use. We do have a new trinket I noticed in the menu. Let me, oh, 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 wow. Look at that. That's cool. Okay. Oh, 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 we're getting a little glitchy. That's fine. New things. <laughs> Here it is. Ender. Whoa. Oh, we're a little shaky right now. Okay, but Ender Anchor. Ender Anchor makes items automatically teleport to you when they're within range of your magnet. That's cool. I think there was another new one, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, so we got a couple of trinkets that I think would be worth jumping into this expertise for, but we're not gonna do that right now. Right now, I wanna take Infuser because it's a chance to not apply negative modifiers. I think for our last two, I kind of wanna drop them into Artisan. Um, so you won't consume crafting potential when re-rolling because I have run into that issue a couple of times. I could go mystic, but I'm not building a lot of vaults right now. So I feel like it would be better served. We'll put at least one into artisan. You know what? It, does, it can't hurt. Let's put one into mystic. It can't hurt. We'll spread the love a little bit. And with that, we are, we are practically spent on all our skill points and expertise points. So without further ado, let's hop into a vault. After, uh, uh, after, after, I, after I set my key binds. <laughs> after I set my key binds. Ooh, and speaking of key binds, we have a magnet toggle. This is huge. The devs are definitely listening. I love this. It's such a huge quality of life change, especially for multiplayer. This is gonna make life so much easier. Oh no, I'm picking up all the sunflowers. Whatever will I do? I'm gonna press one. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press one. Okay, all I need for this crystal is a little bit of sand. So we'll grab that, head out here. And Oh dear. You may be wondering how I got in this situation. I chose dash warp. That's why I did. Get me out of- No, no, they don't go well in water. They don't do well in water. No, 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 no. That's terrifying. <laughs> um. Hmm. New plan. Hold on. I want to give this warp dash a good chance. So I'm going to make some rockets. That's right. We're going to vanilla rockets. 
<laughs> I did. I don't know why I didn't foresee this. Why didn't I think about this being an issue? <laughs> okay, wait, I have to know. Does taunt work outside? <gasps> it does work outside the... <gasps> it works outside the vault. Oh, he has a little heart over his head. No, 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 traitor, traitor. Traitor. <laughs> okay, let's grab some sand. What happened here? Evet. Evet happened here. Oh. He loves me. Oh, no, don't kill the crab. No. <laughs> no, bad minion. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, here's your sand. And here's our crystal. Let's go run that vault now. We have our new Reaper that we recently made. It is, it is epic. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it would be an understatement to say I haven't run a vault in a hot minute, but I'm excited to try out these new skills and abilities. Whew, ready, set, go. I'm scared. Okay, I took damage. Okay. <laughs> load please load okay so we have another vault it's monoliths i'm a little load <laughs> please i'm a little scared oh that's pretty i haven't seen that before i'll be honest i don't want to do another vault right now <laughs> bye actually i just liked at the modifiers <laughs> these are pretty good modifiers i'm gonna give it a try i'm gonna give it a try i'd love to get an artifact honestly <laughs> okay i just have to be careful with my brand new ability um, that will completely throw us literally somewhere. Okay, magma key. Okay, we can take this. Okay, can I? There we go. Oh, 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 that looks different. Oh, I like the new poison texture. Very nice. Okay, all right, all right. And now we're looting. Oh my goodness, also, also, I don't know why I'm taking the time in a vault to tell you this, but there is driftwood wood, and you just, you craft it, and I love it. This is my new favorite. Oh my goodness. The devs are speaking my love language, and that is new wood types. Right, hello? <gasps> Ooh, wait, taunt, taunt, what, what, uh, keybind, 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 four, 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 okay. Fight him. Fight! Fight! Fight for me! Oh, oh, they turned on me. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, I love it! It gives you, like, a second to take a breath. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, what am I doing? My new cleaver is amazing. Oh, my goodness, look at that. And I think that's taking into account the new changes. <gasps> Ooh, to vault, um... Uh, tools. Vault tools. <laughs> also, why are there no piglins? I'm so happy about that. I haven't seen any piglins yet. I, this is making me super happy. Because it's the piglins that terrify me. Alright, ready? Okay. Not where I wanted to be, but close. This is gonna, this is gonna be something that takes some time. That's a piglin. That's a piglin. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Can you just, just be my friend? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, now that I said something, there are piglins. Hi. Why do you have purple, purple stuff? Ah, my friend. Also, these are all fizzle spawners and I love it. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. I am in love with the fact that these are all fizzle spawners. That's a wither skull, that's a wither skull, that's a wither, oh, monolith, hi. Oh, that was scary. What's Nova? What's Nova? No, I just turned my magnet off. That's not what I wanted. Ah, keybinds, keybinds. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out. I need keybinds. I need to check my keybinds. Why are you so fast? Okay, taunt is four. Okay. <laughs> but it was a fizzle spawner. So we can just come back after our toils and troubles and take everything. I love that. Oh, that was amazing. That felt good. That was great. Who's my friend? No one, no one became my friend. I have no mana. <laughs> That's the problem. I do have sorcery though, so it should be working. Oh, it is coming back much faster though. Oh, that's nice. Not fast enough. Fight for me. Oh, I got the wither skull on my side. That's nice. Woohoohoo, I love it. This is fun. I feel like I get to choose like what my next option is. Like I have good choices. Like, ooh, what do we, 
What do we, you know, how do we want to approach this situation? I like that. Okay, here goes. Let's aim for above. Oh, that's a heavy arrow. <laughs> that's heavy. Oh boy, okay. I like this though, because this feels like an, a skill that I can like improve on. <gasps> oh. <laughs> this is spicy, to say in the least. What is your eyes? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, aim really high. No. Hmm. I might have to upgrade it. Oh. Nice. Ooh, an inscription piece. Oh, oh, it worked. I would love to get another monolith. Oh, I like that chest up there. That's a blaze. Hi. I can see where a javelin would come in handy just about now. Leave me alone. I'll pour water on you. Be my friend. Yes. <laughs> I got the wither skull to be my friend. Am huge fan. I don't see. Um, yes, I do. I do see a monolith. Okay. There we go. We'll grab these chests and then we'll head to the next room. I would love to get a monolith crate from this. Let's go. Okay, not bad. Last monolith. Let's go. We have a much higher chance of getting an artifact from that crate as well. I'm taking these stairs like a noob because I'm scared to throw the <laughs> teleport arrow. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, you did an amazing job. Thank you. Stuff. More stuff. Be my friends. Sorry, I hit you. Be my friend. Oh. I'm scared. Okay, try that. Okay, nice. Oh, it's Johnny. Okay, we're fine. Oh, oh, we did not make that. That's better. Wait, what happened to our other abilities? Wait, they're gone. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Oh, while at full health? I didn't realize I was at full health. Okay, okay, that's fine. Got you. Okay, read the fine print. How did I miss that monolith? Go. Okay, all right, we're getting better. And it's our exit. Let's go. Woohoo! 7,000 XP, a monolith crate. Not bad at all for a first time back and another vault. All right. Ooh, okay. So we got some things. We'll plop down our monolith crate right there. Ooh, that's a good amount of soul shards. Very nice. We'll just plop that right there. We'll use our brand new trash can. Oh my goodness, I forgot to take another bounty. <laughs> Ooh, that's too cool. We have two active. And now let's give our loot crate a little look-see. I can easily, boop, turn my magnet off. We can just pop this open. Ooh, all right. Let's see, it looks like we have two shields. Let's see, we got item quantity, item rarity, and durability. Okay, all right. Two shields to choose from, uh, scrappy boots, uh, scrappy this and a common plus that's nice we have some relic booster packs and a mystery box Ooh, i don't think we have that one the handle no we don't that's awesome all right mystery box diamonds let's throw in the durability let yeah let's do that nice we got two gems back and now let's uh, roll a couple of pieces, see if we get anything exciting, any new transmog, some good gear. Oh. What was that sound? <gasps> they changed the sound. <laughs> they must have. I kind of like that. Okay. Ooh, these are these are better. And knockback. These are ten, but this has six health. I'm gonna keep these up as, as a backup. Let's see. Oh. That, that has a lot more modifiers and it's just scrappy. Lucky hit chance, that's what we want because we grabbed these. We grabbed life leech and cleave. So we definitely want to increase our lucky hit. Let's see, what else do we get? We got mana regen and 11 armor. Better armor. I'm going to miss that health. Let me see. Let's see if we can get health on this. Add item quantity. Not bad. Let's try again. Block chance. Block chance on a chest plate. 
That's interesting. Okay, all right, okay. This is really interesting. I'm gonna need to think about that a little bit. Oh, those are implicits. There are now like built-in implicits into... Cool. I like that. I feel like that was a nice subtle change to the vault gear crafting and modification. Definitely gonna play around with that a little bit more. So in between episodes, I'm probably gonna be running some off-camera vaults. I, uh, I need to catch up. I'm level 45. Um, the highest I think right now is C-dubs at 65. So I am 20 levels behind some people. So I'm gonna, probably gonna run some off camera. Also probably gonna run some on a live stream this Friday. So stay tuned for that, which um will probably actually be today when this video comes out. So look forward to that. Off camera, I will also be going through this quest book and get us kind of up to date. I'm looking forward to all the dopamine I shall be receiving. <laughs> from going through this and I'll clue you guys in when we get to about where we are probably the enchanting because and the potions because I am so excited I mean look at this look at these they're so cool and the skill altar I need to find out what the skill altar is about I haven't read through the whole patch notes yet there are a lot of things I haven't talked about that I do know about because I really don't want to bore you guys with this episode because I know you guys already know a lot about this update but like we also have amazing things like the angel block, which you can now get the angel ability at level 50, which I think is so awesome. I love that change. But I think the most incredible model they've made thus far has to be this alchemy table. Please tell me this is where I'm gonna be making my potions because this looks like straight out of Skyrim. I love it. <laughs> my goodness oh we're gonna make this in the next episode we're getting into alchemy in the next episode i'm excited and i hope you are as well i'd like to thank all our cookie crew members you guys are absolutely amazing i'd also like to thank danish for being a part of the cookie club and to gimli anonymous and Falms for being a part of the cookie click i recently mentioned this in my bees videos but it is thanks to every single one of you that i was able to upgrade my video editing software so I'm able to make episodes that are both more frequent and hopefully better. And with that, my name's Epit. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more shenanigans. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. Bye. Wait for it. <laughs> Bye.